Welcome to Walks with Ted. Join me on my travels as I take a different look at interesting places, stay in hotels, caravan parks, visit tourist attractions, go to different towns and cities, go to coastal resorts, stay in holiday parks, even use Airbnb for a staycation. And of course, don't forget wonderful days out in the UK, both inland and on the coast. So join me as I take you on a trip round go to the botanical gardens right so okay and as you can see the botanical gardens it's actually facing towards me blue not you so you missed that uh the botanical gardens i don't know if you can see it anyway uh, there's a nice sign here my wife's going to point it out to you just a minute i'm just going to turn the camera around could you darling could you just show me the sign where the botanical gardens is please <laughs> no no you're meant to face the camera you dipstick look oh she's been taking the tablets but don't worry, she will get back. So this is where we're going. We're going to have a look around the botanical gardens, okay, uh, and bring you into a bit of nature now, a bit of light, light-hearted stuff. As you can see, it's full of plants and butterflies. There's a beautiful. Hang on, did you see it? No, missed it. We missed. We missed the butterfly. But now these these are stunning gardens. These are so well laid out. There's a nice little bit of a water garden here, which is uh, all water and reeds and things. So let me just. Uh, walk around here so it's, it's a beautiful full of lilies purple lilies I presume that's what they are anyway let's just walk across this lovely bridge on, onto the water garden uh, wow this is just a, a, a stunning feature it really is uh, I, they're, no they're not lilies because they're like a little brush let me let me just come in to the flower for you and then you can uh, hopefully tell me what flower oh there it is what flower it is because I'm not quite sure what that is but there you go uh, I'm not the greatest person with flowers to, or birds either either not very good at spotting birds but but the beauty of doing a video like this is that you can always refer to it later and and then and then look in the book or Wikipedia or ask Nigel uh, uh, what what flowers and what birds they are yeah now, I'm so lucky because uh, not only do you have Google to search things out that gives that's my first reference point and then if Google doesn't help me out I then ask the wife obviously because like most of knows everything and then if those two things can't help me out and I really am desperate and I mean really desperate I ask Nigel yeah because he, he always comes up with a good result anyway here we go uh, anyway look we got a beautiful uh, the wife's pointing to it now she's becoming a tour guide now yeah uh, we've come to a nice little water feature here with a, a little fountain in the middle and then we're going to go into the botanical gardens greenhouse which is which is over there anyway uh, let's shut down for a little while because I'm rabbiting on far too much as usual but this is this is stunning this is isn't it uh, please stay out of the fountain oh we're not allowed to go for a paddle here so we won't because one thing I do do is is follow rules and regulations hey 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 anyway uh, speak to you later yeah the, the, these gardens are referred to though they're part of the botanical gardens there are other, other they're referred to as the first ladies gardens because it was the first ladies who actually uh, decided is a uh, hang on let me just get it in picture for you the first ladies decided to form this garden and it was done in 2006 so not too long ago uh, and uh, the first ladies obviously they're the president's wives so it was the, the current ones and the past ones including uh, old Nancy Reagan a, a, uh, Johnson uh, Hillary Clinton Rosemary Carter Betty Ford and Barbara Bush they were the main instigators for the gardens and I believe that now the uh, first ladies the current first ladies carry on the tradition and support the garden in a great way yeah. right we've just left the water feature and we're going under the archway before we go into the main uh, the main part of the botanical gardens uh, but what i like about here is that no matter what plant you look at they've gone to great trouble in putting a sign there to tell you what it is and what it isn't yeah which is good isn't it so you now know i now know that this is a narrow leaf iron weed 
and it comes from Arkansas, Oklahoma. Yeah, so you know, so it don't matter, don't matter what plant you look at, it's got a little label on it. Tell you what it is, which does help me out a lot, because as I said earlier on in these uh, videos, I am useless uh, recognizing plants and birds. Yeah, birds as in feathered variety. Yeah. Hello. Oh. Uh, look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Hang on. Hang on, the wife's just pointed something out. It's a chair, and there's a, apparently there's a butterfly on the chair. Let's see if we can find the butterfly. Can anybody see the butterfly on the chair? Oh, I'm an idiot, and I. The butterfly is the back of the chair. <laughs> it's not a butterfly, as in. Uh, yeah, okay, okay, oh yeah, I know. Yeah, but I, I am taking the pills and I will get better. Promise, 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 promise. I will get better. Right, let's carry on. Carry on with the walking, shall we? So now we're now going into the actual, leaving the First Lady's Gardens, and we're actually going to go into the botanical gardens here in front of us, which apparently I've been told by Rob from uh, Trip Hacks, Washington, that uh, they're quite stunning. So that's where we're going to go. We're going to go into the botanical gardens and give you a conducted tour. But yeah, it looks good. Let's go. So we're in, we're inside the botanical gardens now, uh, in the main uh, conservatory greenhouse. And as you can see, there's a wonderful water feature here. We do a very slow turnaround and it, it it spreads right down there and then we're gonna have a nice walk around and if I see anything of interest I'll point it out well this is very very similar to the Eden project for those people in England uh, who have been to the Eden project uh, which is a, a modern greenhouse down in the southwest of England I forget which county it's in but this is very similar very very interesting I must admit uh, this is obviously the fern house full of ferns uh, again everything's got a label on it tells you what it is uh, and then we're going oh this is a bit cooler in here going into a, a water feature here Sure is hot in this bit here, but then this is for the uh, for the desert because it's full of cacti and cactuses. Is it cacti or cactus? I'm I'm not sure. Cacti, cactus, yeah, full of cactuses. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. So I know when we was here, and we visited the uh, Joshua National Park with the Joshua trees. That was also very interesting with all the. Uh, the cactuses because a lot of the area of America is, is just barren very 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 barren <laughs> oh, this, we're now going into the the orchid garden to have a look at uh, some Roses. of these orchids thank you darling uh, there's one there. Look at that, that's like a like a dragonfly, that one. I'll tell you what, orchids, apparently there's thousands of different varieties of orchids. So uh, I'll try and not go on, to, well not show you thousands obviously, because that's just gone forever. But we'll just do a few of the, what I call the pretty ones. Because, uh, look at this, this is, this, this one here. Very, very nice. I'm going to have to get that app on my phone that uh, you just take a picture of a, a plant and it tells you what it is. But uh, there's some beautiful, beautiful orchids in here. Look at this one here. Isn't it stunning? And they're all different colours and Yeah. 
here all different colors very very good look at this yellow one here wow. and then we go over to uh, to the white one well wow, that it's only a very small garden is the orchid garden but they've certainly got a very good variety of different shapes and colors of orchids and again very light, well laid out uh, with all their names on and everything uh, and from where they're pot from which country they're from yeah very interesting hey we're in the uh, the main greenhouse of the botanical gardens at the moment and as you can see there's a walkway that takes you uh, round so you can go through the uh, well, what's it called the top top layer amongst all the trees and everything so you're amongst the leaves and that's what we're doing uh, again it's exactly like the Eden project this is, this is I presume where the Eden project got its idea from and you can look down from the can canopy that's it that's the word I was looking for early on you can look down from the canopy down into the into the rainforest so uh, which is below us here I don't know if you can see it uh, yeah that's the uh, that's the rainforest down there no parrots could do with a few parrots flying around that would be nice wouldn't it hey because you always have parrots in rainforests don't you but uh, still it, it, it's very good to go up into the canopy and and look down oh it is hot in here wow that is hot and these, these all look like real plants, not like, uh, what can I say, uh, artificial ones just with greenery bits stuck on it. They do look as if they are growing here and they are alive. Uh, let's just have a look down there. We, we can see somebody famous walking down. Yeah, that's Lynn. She's walking through down on the ground level and taking some few photographs. Hopefully we'll add those to the, uh, to the YouTube video. Uh, and here we are right in the middle of Washington and I mean in the middle of Washington we're just by the Capitol building uh, going through the Botanical Gardens and we're walking up on uh, at the canopy level which is way way up high uh, in the greenhouse looking at uh, oh looking at the uh, looking at the plants let's just turn the lens around so you can see what we're looking at it uh, well this has been an eye-opener this has coming in Let's, let's just wave, uh, wave, wave to the wife who's down on the bottom level. This is just, uh, well, I, I did like the Eden Project, but I, I think this tops it. I'm sorry to say, Mr. Eden, at the Eden Project, this greenhouse certainly tops your greenhouse. It's so well laid out, full of plants, everything labelled. Look, e you know, even this, it comes from Brazil, Ecuador and Peru. Uh, because it says so on the label there we go what it is I've no idea and we yeah we, we forget about that uh, won't we but uh, yeah very very good to be able to walk all the way down here anyway we're going to go back down now to the ground level and have a walk around the ground level see if we can show you something down there uh, this was very interesting very very interesting well that was a great walk around the botanical gardens wasn't it through the greenhouse and of course there was one great benefit that which they haven't mentioned uh, coming in here is it's that hot I think I've lost about two pound in sweat because uh, whew, that was warm great benefit anyway we thoroughly enjoyed it uh, I don't know what the wife's got planned next for me but I'm sure it's, it can't it won't top this without a doubt unless of course it's McDonald's <laughs> well there we are. we're outside now uh, some fresh air mind you it's still quite warm out here if you want to know where the botanical gardens is well it ain't far from the Capitol building which uh, if we turn scan round and there is the Capitol building which uh, we've got tickets for to go in I think later on in the week 
uh, but this whole area is uh, is good. Now we're not going there today, so we're going to go over here, and I think we're going to go for a dip in this pond because it's that hot. I think we're going to go, uh, yeah, go for a dip, shall we? Well, that was a really good, interesting walk, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, onwards and upwards, as they say. Let's keep going.